Hi, I'm Zucata from Forgotten Dream Legion, and I'm going to make show you a quick video on how to create a 5x5, 4x4, 3x3, 2x2, and 1x1 circle. That isn't referring to the circles themselves, as they are the curves in which to create them. Alright, so as you can see here, I've created the five uh, different designs that you can do, and I will show you in this video. And um, yeah, let's get started. So, first things first, let's start off, let's baby steps, and do the one by one. It's pretty simple as is, you just create a block, and uh, depending on if you have uh, push to scroll or the uh, middle mouse button, just do that. And if you don't have push to scroll, then just use Q and select your different sides. And then, just copy and paste, like that, the C and V. Done. And now for the 2x2. Uh, two two. So you go down 1, or you go down 2, and then on this side you go down all the way. And then in the middle you go 2 again. There you have it, another circle. Alright, and now for the 3x3. Three three. This one is actually kind of confusing, even though it's simpler in a way. Alright, so you go down 1, and then you go down all the way to about there. Uh, so from the top, you go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's when you push down all the way. Same thing on this side. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, oops, we have a circle. Okay, and now for the 4x4, four four. right here. This one's also kind of tricky. So you go down one, and then you go down one there, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and so you get down to the very middle of the block. You go down all the way, and then you just push. Right, and now get rid of that block. You could just copy it and paste it like this, but basically do the same thing on this side. And then here you do one, two, one, two. And then you can either do it, you can scroll in like that and make a uh, an inverse there by scrolling in twice on this side, and then flipping it over and scrolling in six times on this side. There you are. Now you have your 4x4 four four curve. Alright, and now for the 5x5. Five five. Okay, this one was actually simpler than all the others because it's just basic math. So, each of these have 8, eight uh, faces to push all the way down, so face pushes. And then you just go 1, and then 1, 2, three, 4, and all the way down on this one. You can delete this block, this block, and this block. So you just have this block in these four. Those three are unneeded. You can just copy and paste or do the do it manually. And then you just scroll in all the way. There you have it. Another way to do the 5x5, five five, but slightly smaller if you want it to have kind of an outline look, is by pushing in twice here. Pushing in twice there, and then one, two, three, four. Or sorry, one, two. Scrolling it all the way. Like that, hold on. Sorry. Like this. Push that down. Whoops. It's been weird. All right, there you go. Getting rid of this. There you go. Getting rid of that block. And then copying and pasting it this way. Oh, uh, whoops, that's, that broke. <laughs> Let me fix that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this way. Alright. And there you have it, another way to do the 5x5. Five five. But on this one, instead of pasting it there, you want to interlock the middle block, so just paste over it. Like so. You have another another circle that's actually slightly smaller than this one, but not a lot. So 
There you go. Right, there you have it. Have a nice day.